for cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure to head on over to my sponsor, buymaddencoins.com. They got quick delivery, 24-7 support, and make sure to use code POOL at checkout for 20% off and an extra 10% coins at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate video and today. Going over some Madden 20 news. I've been a little busy, so I'm a little behind on the other YouTubers who have been doing Madden 20 news, but I've been waiting through this for a while. I know it's going to be very fun to be doing over the summer talking about Madden 20. Cannot wait for the games to come out. As much as other YouTubers want to trash Madden 20 and, you know, say it's going to be bad and Madden sucks, whatever. Yeah, Madden is kind of a money grab. It does kind of suck at times, but it's still my favorite game. I still love it no matter what. I genuinely love playing this game. Right now, not so much. But when the game first comes out, for even months after, day on, 24 hours, night after night, I still love playing this game. So I'm not trashing it. I cannot wait to get into Madden 20. Hopefully, we can get to a certain point as a content creator in Madden 20 to where we can really just take off. I'm hoping so. I have a lot of other things in place, I feel like, to get there. I feel like the personality is there. I feel like the setup, everything's there. I just need, I just need time, right? Nothing happens overnight. I'm obviously brand new on the scene. So I'm hoping Madden 20 is kind of that time. But besides the point, guys, make sure to like this video. Get it to 50 likes if you've been enjoying. Also, if you've been enjoying the content, please subscribe. I have a certain threshold that I want to hit. I want to go into Madden 20 like guns and blazing, so I'm hoping for like 5k subs on Madden 20, and then that should give me enough support to where most of my videos can do pretty well, and I can start getting into like upper tiers, recommended and stuff, so that's, that's the goal, so I really appreciate if you guys could do that. Also, very excited for these. I'm using off, I'm going off playstation.blog, pretty sure that's what the website's called. We're going to switch over to desktop, I'm going to show you guys the top 5 features that they have ranked for this Madden. I'm going to go over my opinion on it, talk about it a little bit, and what I believe I want to see. So let's head on over to desktop right here. So for the cover athlete, we got Patrick Mahomes. It's well deserved. He had an outstanding season as the MVP. I'm a big Patrick Mahomes fan and not to sound cliche or whatever, like I bet everyone says this. I was in on him before he was even a rookie coming out of college, out of Texas Tech. I really enjoyed watching this guy. I loved watching him play. Even before he was a rookie, I was saying that he should start and he didn't get the chance until obviously like the last few weeks of that season or it was the last game of that season, and then the following season, obviously, is the MVP now. So I've enjoyed watching them come up. Although I would have rather have seen Barkley, Mahomes definitely deserves it more than Barkley. That's just my biased Giants opinion. So now, let's get into these features. First feature, we got Face of the Quarterback 1 career, fra career Campaign. The debut of the new career campaign added within the story of Madden NFL franchise experience. Face of the Franchise, Quarterback 1 is centered on you. Begin by creating your quarterback and select from a series of NCAA Division I schools to compete in the college playoffs. I think this is an awesome feature. Me, I personally like this offline campaign kind of type crap because there are days where after recording my videos and after playing some ultimate team, I just want to settle down and just relax and stay, you know, lay back and just play some down to be competing. So this is cool. The only issue I have with this feature is why is it only quarterback? Like, I feel like quarterback, yeah, obviously quarterback is probably the best position to use for campaign. What do you want to be a running back? or a wide receiver, you should be able to do anything you want. I feel like, I guess, they didn't put enough effort into it to where they only did it one position because they didn't want to branch it off, but like, I wish it was like 2K, we had a little more customization. That's just one aspect I wish they had fixed, but the idea behind it seems really cool. That's only the first step. Your story continues as you take part in the NFL scouting combine in order to boost your stock in the upcoming NFL draft. Once drafted, you will look to cement your legacy in the NFL as a Super Bowl champion and potential Hall of Fame candidate. So what's cool about this specifically is that it seems to be like it is this longevity, I'm saying that word right, to this career. It's not like a long shot where you go through your series and it's just over. And it says all the way to the Hall of Fame, so that obviously includes years, unless it skips time. I hope it doesn't skip time because that would kind of ruin it. But quarterback is cool. I definitely do enjoy this feature. I can definitely be taking over Daniel Jones' spot and making the job. Me and, me and Barkley instead of the mistake we made yesterday. I don't want to call it a mistake because at the end of the day, he does look really good on film. He has his upside. He's going to have time to learn. You can never trash any quarterback because, as you've seen, guys like Aaron Rodgers and those kind of guys going late, and they just, they, they did it, right? Russell Wilson did it. I mean, people that didn't think would do it, Dak Prescott. So I'm going to stop commenting on that. Okay, so number two, superstar X Factors. Every football game has a story to tell, and in every game in Madden NFL 20, you will feel like an NFL superstar. Each game will feel more unique thanks to selected star players that have abilities to reflect what separates the superstars from the rest of the pack each Sunday. These abilities impact the game far beyond an individual rating you've seen in previous editions of Madden. So, a personal thought process on this. So, the way it's going to work is that players have specific abilities. So, obviously, I don't have the list of the complete abilities, but I'm going to go off. I'm going to give you examples of how I perceive this and how, I mean, it, it is how it is, but like, let's say in real life, Odell is amazing at one-handed catches. 
so Odell would have the one-handed catch trade. So when balls are out of reach, Odell can easily grab one-handed catches without like his catch and traffic going down. And after catching one, he gets really hot. Or like Aaron Donald will have like the nose breaker ability, which means like he can just go head to head and just throw guys down and bull rush them all the way to the quarterback on instinct. And and I believe his actual ability that he does have is some ability that makes it so that the quarterback feels pressured when he's on the field, even if he's not at the quarterback. So the quarterback's always under duress and scared he's gonna get sacked. So these are cool. Will these be implemented into Ultimate Team? I'm not sure. As of now, it looks like everything other than Ultimate Team. But if it is an Ultimate Team, I don't know if I'd be too upset. There's only one issue with it. Some of them seem kind of dumb. Like one is like Juju Smith Schuster. If he makes four rack catches after his fourth rack catch, he gets hot and he makes like he has like a really, really high percentage of catching catches after that, which I feel like can be abused. I feel like it should be more like he's the king of the rack catch. Like he gets an initial speed boost off every rack catch or agility boost, something like that. I don't think it should be that he gets uber hot after like four catches, but this does make sense. One of them is that Patrick Mahomes can throw 80 yard bombs which people are like, that's so dumb. It, not exactly. I mean, it's dumb if he's off the back foot, he shouldn't be able to throw it whenever. But standing still in a clean pocket, stepping up into the pocket, he should be able to launch. Yeah, I agree with that because I agree to the point that ultimate team, one reason ultimate team gets dry every year is that come this point of ultimate team, every player can do the same things, right? You can have Antonio Brown, Odell Beckham Jr., some random draft receiver, some random, any receiver you want with chems and powered up, they all have 99 speed, all have 99 catching. So what, what's the point of having Odell? Like, yeah, I love Odell, but Odell's 5'11". I'd rather just have my Calvin, who has the same exact stats, but he's 6'5". And it sucks, I wish I could have Odell, but it just doesn't make sense to have smaller receivers when they all have the same stats, they all have the same speed, agility, and jumping, but one's, like, almost a foot taller. You know what I'm saying? So, what would be cool about this now is that if players have specific abilities, there would be incentive to really have certain teams, like, Le'Veon Bell has the patience ability, so Le'Veon Bell... His agility, when, he, when he's in the backfield, his agility's higher, so like he can cut off blocks a lot better than other running backs. A lot of running backs are north-south. Or Ezekiel Elliott has the hurdle one. Ezekiel Elliott's, you know, the king of hurdling. You know, there's, that makes sense because in real life, it is true. Players have, like Patrick Mahomes, I literally watched Patrick Mahomes, even on the run, make massive bombs that other quarterbacks can't do. It, it, just, it, it makes sense to me to do it that way. I think that people are complaining about it, but players should have to, I don't think it should be overpowered. I don't think, like once Tom Brady has the quick read ability, he, it shows you the first open receiver on the field. I think that's overpowered. It should more be like, it should be more like he excels at quick reads. So he has, in quick read situations, his, his accuracy goes up. When, you know, when, you're, when you're in a clutch situation and you're making quick reads, it should be like 99 short throw, throw short. I was trying to say, wow, that's coming out weird. But that makes sense. It does make sense to me. Antonio Brown should have the route running ability where he can run any route crisply and he can actually, he makes people turn their hips. You know, he's, he excels at getting receivers to turn their hips because now it makes sense. Oh, why well, have the six foot four receiver when I can have Antonio Brown? Because the way I play Madden is that I like to throw routes on the dime. I don't like to high point players. But the way this Madden is that everyone has burner speed and they're tall. So you have to only play one way. This will make it so Madden plays differently. I think it has that potential to play differently if done right. So enough of that. Well, that was a mouthful. So let's get into the next one. Scenario engine. Every franchise will feel more alive with evolving storylines happening alongside every week of your NFL career. Every decision you make will impact what happens as next as you compete for the ultimate NFL achievement, Super Bowl victory. With Madden's new scenario engine, you will experience football stories that were previously unable to tell. It looks like this is just, I mean, nothing special here. Not my, not my cup of tea, but it looks like, like a moment. Like, I think Madden used to have something. Every franchise will feel more... See, okay, I misread that. No, this is really cool. So this is gonna be, if done right, I mean, every year Madden overhypes something and they completely miss tell how it's gonna go and then everyone just gets disappointed. But if it looks like it's, look, if it is what it looks like, it'll be more like NBA 2K, where you have your phone on franchise and your Twitter and like Alvin Kamara is getting frustrated with his role, requesting a trade. That would be really cool and awesome. I love Madden franchise, it's my favorite franchise to play because it's football based but sadly nba has the better mechanics fifa has the better mechanics and it's even run by ea so if they can have better mechanics like i love football the most out of any sports to play franchise mode on but their franchise mode just kind of sucks as of recently like it just i quite literally they have copy and pasted the exact layout form color scheme for the last five years literally a few settings have changed but the look of franchise mode has literally been the same thing for years and it's gotten kind of ridiculous at this point. If they could really just revamp everything, this could be an awesome mode for next year. I like both Ultimate Team and this. I'm not just an Ultimate Team guy. Ultimate Team missions. Think of the Ultimate Team missions as a roadmap to earning all lead programs and content. 
Whew, I'm out of breath. That matter the most to you in Ultimate Team. A new list of activities will be presented daily that will help you improve your Ultimate Team so you can spend more time dominating the competition, earning the sweet rewards along the way, whether it's headset seasons or in all new Ultimate Challenges coming to Madden 20. This seems cool, but it's very standard. It's as if any other Ultimate Team game didn't already have missions and things to get rewards in. I mean, I can't really as a roadmap think of the ultimate like i don't i don't know how to really phrase this because this could be anything this could be more types of solos this could be a checklist where like mlb where you have the checklist and like you have weekly challenges that expire but we kind of already have that so i'm gonna just skip that one ultimate team challenges a fresh spin on solo challenges ultimate team challenges allow you to play with your friends and earn rewards throughout the season this community requested feature makes its debut as players are able to advance as many challenges as they want without having back okay okay many challenges as they thought having to back this is awesome okay this is huge as a madden ultimate team player i'm a solo grinder i play hundreds of thousands of solos and they suck to go the, the biggest thing that always sucks about solos if you have 20 journeys to beat is to go into one back out of one into one back out of one if you could just go in and in and in if you could just go from one to the next to the next to the next you could easily knock out hundreds of solos way quicker especially when you're trying to grind levels so now what it's saying is that you're able to go from solo to solo if you have journey one through 20 games you could literally go beat one advance to the next game two three four five kind of like road to the show and mlb when you're in the same when you're, when you're like a homestand and you literally go from game to game to game without skipping that's awesome that is huge for solo grinders also you can play with your friends too which is even cooler when you have a friend in the party and you guys are just grind and solos together instead of being separately you could actually be in the game together now that might slow people down so that might not be fun for certain things but maybe like gauntlet challenges where you have to do a, a long game it's fun but i think for individual moments i probably wouldn't want to be with a friend but for gauntlet challenges that could be cool especially when you don't want to sit there and just grind i guess it's kind of cool could be useful now the pre-order details let me get into that real quick pre-order the superstar edition today and choose one of the four unique quarterback abilities for your creative player in the face of the franchise quarterback one face of the franchise keep one steve young kurt warner john elway or randall cunningham so I'm guessing those are the abilities. I'm not entirely sure what they'll be, so I can't really comment on that. You get three-day early access on top of EA access. You get like eight days, I'm pretty sure. 15 gold team fantasy packs. You know, those are, for the beginning of the year, they're, they're great, I guess, because you can get a, you get a chance at 15. Uh, you have 15 packs. Typically, they come with three players, so that should be about 45 chances at an elite player. Your choice of one out of 32 core elite players. That's sounded cool last year, but it was just an ADO. It was just a base 80. It lasts you like two, three weeks in the team, possibly. One large training quick sell pack. It's probably going to be 500 to 1,000 training. I mean, I guess that's okay. One past and present elite player pack in Madden Ultimate Team. See, I want to be excited about elite players, but they always give us like an 85 overall player. But this one might be cooler because this could be like the team captains kind of, or like the Hall of Fame players where it might be an 85. So they could be usable for quite some time. I wonder how the team captains would be actually. And then finally, we have the one Madden Championship Series pack in Ultimate Team. One Madden Championship Series pack. Eh, can't be that cool probably probably decent so that's pretty much it for this video boys the way i see it is that that has been a handful of information and truthfully those probably are the top features right now so i will be updating this as the year goes along on new madden 20 news but this is my first little intro to madden 20 and trying to get you some news out for you guys so you guys stay in touch hopefully this helps you guys a little bit in deciding what you want to do for next year if you're going to get the game if you're going to pre-order it that's about it boys this video's gone on kind of long i didn't realize that we're already at like 14 minutes so Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed the content. If you had, please drop a like. Hopefully 50 likes is our goal as per usual with these videos lately with the slower time of the year. Also, if you could drop a sub, that'd be awesome. Like I said, hopefully we can hit 5K subs before Madden 20. That is the goal. So let's make it happen, boys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video.